right, you guys. So I've had this question asked and posed to me quite a bit because the science GPA and your overall GPA are the things that PA schools look at in general to usually go the next step with you, okay? And so I'm going to be answering today in this video, how many classes should you retake to raise your science GPA? Let's get into it right now. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new and you haven't seen my channel, take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe, okay? Um, I do a lot of PA related videos and then some not PA related videos every once in a while as well. So I think you might have like some good content to actually like browse through and binge watch. But this question is PA related and it is from Chelsea Santos. She said, hi Adana, I have followed your channel for years which is crazy that I've been like in existence for years now um, on YouTube. But she said, I followed your channel for years and I'm getting ready to apply to PA school. Congrats to you, Chelsea. I graduated undergrad with a cumulative GPA of 3.1 and a science GPA of 2.7. How many classes do you suggest I retake to raise my science GPA? Well, this is not really that hard of a question for me to answer because at the end of the day, Chelsea, you need to take as many science classes that you can, as many science classes that you need to, to raise your science GPA. Now, with that being said, it goes, there are little nuances to this, okay? It depends on how high you're trying to raise your science GPA. Are you trying to get just to the minimum of the 3.0 threshold that most schools are requiring? Are you trying to get to a 2.75 or 2.78 that some schools require since you already have a cumulative GPA of 3.1? Are you trying to get a little above the threshold and be at like a 3.2, a 3.3, 3.1? All of that matters. Now, how you determine that is how much time you have to actually put into taking extra classes, when you want to apply to PA school. I know you said that you are applying to PA school. Well, when are you applying? Are you applying this year? Are you planning on applying next year? Are you applying in two years? All of that matters because at the end of the day, depending on those answers, you will be able to make the best decision on how many classes you should take how many classes you can take um, and when you should take those classes essentially okay so sometimes you know you can take classes during the summer and you can kind of breeze through those classes because they're at an accelerated rate sometimes the classes that you may want to retake are during your regular school year so it may take a little bit longer and that may cut into the time that you actually have planned out to apply to PA school so when you're thinking about this take all of those things into consideration also another thing to take into consideration are the schools so you need to to look at the particular schools that you're trying to apply to if they require a 3.0 or a 3.5 or a 3.3 or whatever their science GPA requirements are or look at their overall student profile to see what their general students average GPA science GPA is when you look at that and you compare it to where you're at then you'll have a better idea but ultimately the answer to this question is you should take as many classes as you need to to raise your GPA to the point that you feel comfortable and confident that you are the best candidate that you can be moving forward in that particular application cycle, okay? So take all of those with a grain of salt. You know, I'm just some girl on YouTube that you have subscribed to, that you are listening to. Um, this is just my opinion, but honestly, I think that that is your best, best option, okay? All right, thank you so much, Chelsea, for that question. If any of you guys have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, just like Chelsea did. Um, follow me on Instagram at PA and on Instagram at Get That C University, where we help you get that C. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.